Sports to the Bone family. Greetings, 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 my peeps. Welcome back, welcome back to another one, you know. As you can see in the car here, just gonna give you a quick update. West Indies T20 opener Johnson Charles is set for the IPL. Yes, my peeps, he was actually um, roped in by a team to replace another player. So, gonna talk about that. Plus, we're gonna take a look at a game that was played in the IPL earlier today. We had the Calcutta Knight Riders taking on the Sunriser Hyderabad. And also locally, Versam Permal taking his 600th um, wicket yesterday. I mean, when I was doing the video yesterday talking about the game, I don't know, it slipped me, you know, leading up to when I was about to do the video, I had it in the back of my mind to speak about it and I totally forgot about it, you know, it's a good thing that social media is here and while scrolling again today, I saw, um, I saw them updating it on, you know, the, the West Indies platform, so shout out to Versamy Permal. So let us get straight into it, my peeps. West Indies hard-hitting opener Johnson Charles is set for the IPL. I actually saw the information. I think it was last night that I saw it, but I'm just getting a chance to report on it. So Johnson Charles is um, set to represent the Calcutta Knight Riders franchise. And that is the franchise that, you know, Sunil Narayan and Andre Russell plays for. You know, those guys are two senior players there. Now, Johnson Charles will be representing, um, he will be replacing Linton Das. You know, so he will be replacing Linton Das as the wicketkeeper batsman there. And, you know, he, he brings a lot of experience. You know, Johnson Charles, he has two T20 world titles under his belt. You know, since of lately, he has regained some form. You know, he's doing his thing on the franchise uh, scene. Recently made a comeback in the West Indies team. Did pretty well. And, you know, um... I think it was against South Africa that we played. He played the other day. He did pretty well. So it's good to see him um, getting an opportunity here. Hopefully, we'll get a few games. You understand? Um, you know, he's one of those guys that he works hard at, at his game. He always gives it gives it his all. I, I have criticized him a lot before in the past. You know, that is before he, took, he, he, he was sent on a long break from the team. You know, he was always in and around the team but you know wasn't as consistent as we would have liked but you know he worked on his game and you know he is more of a three-dimensional player these days you're not not only pulling the ball to the to the to the leg side or to the to the mid wicket area if you like he, his game has, has has evolved um way way past that so happy to see him going down um there hopefully he will get a few games for the uh calcutta night riders as i said you know snell narayan Andre Russell, they are guys that are from the Caribbean, so you know, hopefully, you'll be able to feel at home with them. And um, as I said, he plays a lot of cricket around the world, so you know, I'm sure he will be used to some of the other guys. So, shout out to Johnson Charles. And talking about Calcutta Knight Riders, let us just uh, stick with them. They were able to pull off a victory over the Sunrise of Hyderabad earlier today. You know, um, Calcutta Knight Riders, they won that game by five runs. So, Brian Lara's Sunrise uh, Hyderabad guy is not able to do the thing with the bat again. So, Calcutta Knight Riders, they made 171 um, for nine of their 20 overs. So, 171 for nine of their 20 overs. Um, you know, Russell, he was promoted well, not up the order. He, he, let me see. He batted at one, two, three, four, five. Basically, the same, the same position. Batted at six. He made twenty-four of fifteen. So twenty-four of fifteen is what he got. Sunil Narayan made one of two. So you know that is how those two guys went. Jason Roy at the top made twenty. The captain, Captain Nitish Reina, he made forty-two, and Singh made forty-six. So that is all, um, that, is, that is what they made my viewers and subscribers. Um, we didn't have any West Indian bowling for the Sunrise or Hyderabad. So going in search of that, the Hyderabad, they were restricted to 166 for 8 of their allotted 20 overs. So falling short by 5 runs. So once again, Brian Charles Lara, uh, Brian Charles Lara guys not able to do the job. Uh, the golden boy, Harry Brook. He was once again not able to do much. He 
actually faced four deliveries, didn't score. You know, um, really up and down season for him. I think he, 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 he has so far scored a century. He, but, you know, he has quite a few low scores. Uh, Captain Aiden Markram, he made 41 of 40. So almost a runner ball there. Um, uh, Wicketkeeper batsman Callison, he made 36. And those were the guys that did the damage. Bowling for Calcutta Knight Riders now. Um, Andre Russell, he bowled one over and he went for some runs. He, 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 he went for 15, but he picked up one wicket. Sunil Narayan, his two over cost him 16 runs. So our two West Indians not able to really um, pin down the batsmen there. Uh, Chakavati once again proved to be very effective. He bowled four overs and gave away 20 runs, picking up one wicket. Uh, Thakur, he took two wickets. Uh, he was the pick of the bowlers there, three overs for 23 runs, picking up uh, two wickets. So there you have it, my viewers and subscribers. The IPL update. Only two West Indians were in action there. Uh, Sunil Narayan and uh, Andre Russell. They ended up on the winning team, but you know they weren't really able to stamp their authority, so to speak, on the game. So, you know, shout out to them. Uh, finally, versus Pramal, you understand the legend in the region here. Uh, he actually took his 600th uh, wicket at, at that level yesterday. You know, I didn't remember to, to, to speak about it when I was doing the recap yesterday of day one um, and day one. Uh, but you know, definitely one of those guys that you have to just say the man is a legend of the regional game. You know, he hasn't really produced it at the international level when he gets when he when he would have gotten the opportunity a couple of times. But in terms of being consistent at that level, Versam Versam Pramal is there. You understand? And apart from um, as I said the other day, Rakim Carnwall, Versam Pramal. Over the last couple of years, these are the guys that, you know, in terms of, of, of spinning the ball. The last... Versa Mepramal has been doing this for over a decade. You understand? If you're looking at five years, you know, over the last five years, it's going to be a couple of, you know, Pramal and, and Cornwall and probably one or two other guys. But, you know, definitely have to say shout out to him. And um, this game here, my viewers and subscribers, very, very important game. You understand? Um players are, are fighting for a spot in the West Indies A team as we are set to take on um, I think it's going to be Bangladesh so you know we're going to continue to keep a close eye on this um, uh, last game here in the Tri-Series to see the players that are really stepping up. Um, later on tonight I am definitely going to do a recap hopefully you know and let you guys hear how the day's play would have gone so big up on yourself my peeps and stay safe. Zane.